Hey everyone, this is Andrew from the Excel Events team here. Just want to talk to you guys for a few minutes about the different fundraising modules we have to offer as part of the platform. We have uh, fund and needs, raffles, auctions, as well as the option to have a donation widget on your page too. So speaking of your page, this is where the attendees or your donors will start. They'll see this event landing page you can put together with your banners and logo, color scheme, all the information about your organization and event, maybe even your sponsors too. So really make it your own. This page has unlimited real estate for you and your team to fill it with everything that the attendees are gonna to need to know about the organization and event. You can also change the verbiage here as well. For example, if you call them uh, opportunity drawings instead of raffles, you can change that. Also, you'll notice we have the option for sponsors, speakers, and exhibitors. This can be a great complement to your virtual event if you're having exhibitors, speakers, and sponsors, or your in-person event as well. So the attendees can learn everything they need to know about your organization right here. Let's start with the auctions. Our silent auctions allow you to have as many items as you'd like. This auction can be open for up to three months, and you can have as many attendees check it out as you'd like. Each individual item will have its own page the attendees can check out, where they can check out unlimited pictures, your description of, of the items, as well as who the uh, highest bidder is, if you'd like to make that available. You may have noticed back on that original page that each individual item has a three-letter code associated with it. That is because each item can be uh, bid on by text message. You can see this number up here. Each event that has our fundraising modules will have this phone number associated with it. So for example, if I wanted to bid on the Hamilton tickets, I would text in HAB with my bid, let's say it's $11,000, and I would instantly get a text message letting me know that my bid has been confirmed. If someone then goes to outbid me, the same thing will happen with them, and then I would get a text message letting me know that I've been outbid and to come back into the platform, uh, or rather respond via text, to submit my counter bid. We found that this ends up making your, your final item prices be significantly higher because there's no bidder sheets to check. This is a perfect complement to a virtual event, a standalone event, or as it was originally designed, an in-person event tool, again, to raise more money, reduce your staffing needs, but still make it easy and fun for the attendees to, to bid on these items. Now, once the auction concludes, whether it be a few hours or the whole three months, all of the uh, winners, those who have had the highest bids, will be notified via text message and email to come into the platform and complete payment for the item. You are able to have their credit card on file required before they're able to make a bid or not, but either way, they'll be able to come in. We have partnerships with Stripe and Square to collect payment. Once the items have been paid for by the uh, winners, they will be notified and your team will have an update on the back end of your auction page, which we'll go to in a few minutes, showing you which items have been paid for. You can also mark them as distributed if you were able to ship or deliver these items or perhaps have it be picked up. And just a reminder, these are able to be open for up to three months and you can have as many items as you'd like. Now heading over to the raffle module here, it operates in a very similar way where it's up, available for up to three months and you can have as many items as you like. Each item also has a three letter code associated with it. The attendees can come here, buy some raffle tickets. You can create as many packages as you'd like and they can be customizable, you know, one, one ticket for a dollar, maybe one ticket's a hundred dollars, whatever, whatever you'd like there. You can also offer a free ticket as well. Once the attendee has paid for their ticket, they're able to submit them into these various buckets here. After the raffle has ended, our system will automatically pick winners for each individual items and notify these attendees. The attendees can also submit their, their raffle tickets through text message as well. If they're at your in-person event, it's a great way for them to digitally keep track of their tickets and again, submit them into the various buckets that they might want to submit them into. Again, as a reminder, you can have as many items as you'd like, and this can be open for three months as well. Finally, we have our fund to need. Our fund to need is a great way to raise money for individual causes within your organization or event. As we can see, there's a couple different options, sponsoring a patient who may be ill, a computer drive, you know, all under one, one event. Just like with the raffles and auctions, you're able to have as many causes as you'd like, and they can be open for up to three months. This is a great way to do funding calls at events and, and raise money in a really short time. Maybe someone comes up at, at your event on stage and, and says, hey, if you're interested, please text MAC to this phone number with your pledge. And you could set minimum pledge and keep track of all the proceeds um, and all the pledges and, and you know items you want to, to have, right? Maybe there's, there's 13 laptops you're trying to raise money for, right? So it really allows for a lot of options 
for your organization to raise additional funds. Now, all three of these modules, the fund in need, raffle, and auction, they each have a cost of $249 to activate them. That's $249 for each module. Each module also has an additional cost of $1 per participant. Now, a participant is someone who makes a pledge, buys raffle tickets, or submits a bid on an auction item. We only charge you one time for that one person. So for example, if John Smith comes to your auction and he bids on for all 100 items 10 times each, we'll charge your organization a total of $1 for John Smith. If Andrew comes to your auction and bids on the Hamilton tickets just one time, we will charge your organization $1 as well. That's a great way to raise more money for your organization and Excelevance does not keep a percentage of the funds raised through your auctions, fund a need, or raffles. The last module to quickly uh, touch upon, which I recommend every organization uses when they're having a fundraiser with the platform, is our donation module. It's a great way to make it part of checkout or just live on your page. There is no fee for activation. All that is associated with it is the credit card processing fee through Stripe or Square, both of which have nonprofit rates we recommend you reach out to them about, and 1% of the donation amount. Both fees can be passed on to the donor as well. I just want to take you guys through a quick little shot of the back end so you can see how simple it is to set these modules up before I let you go. This is your admin panel here. Get my head out of the way, sorry. Where you can see all the analytics from ticket sales and fundraising uh, numbers brought in. Let's just take a look at the auction really quickly. Adding items is very simple. It can certainly be done one at a time. You can also import your items all through a CSV template, which we make available right here for your simple download and then eventually upload with all your items. The fund in need and raffle modules are the same way. Each item can be customized quickly from this, this uh, dashboard right here, including giving it its code, starting bid, buy it now prices if you'd like, the short code as well, and then adding all of your images and descriptions. You can also see who all of the bidders and winners are for each item for every single person to see who is bid, and then also who is won. So you can reach out to them and perhaps have them head into the platform and complete payment. We see that Archer has in fact paid and we've distributed his item as well. The raffle and fund need modules work in a very similar way as well. Uh, we have a full help center that we certainly recommend you check out in order to uh, build out your auction, donation widget, raffle or fund and need modules. And our 24 seven live chat support has an average response time of under two minutes and they're there to help you every step of the way and answer any questions you may have. Best of luck with your fundraiser, and please do let us know if you have any questions, and thanks for your time.